Um, is it beneficial to start this hex snowball now on ETH network despite the gas fee total as opposed to waiting for cheap gas for Pulse Chain? None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Great question. That's personal preference, really. And the, the benefit of doing it now is that you will get copies of all of the ladders and all the stakes that you get on the Ethereum network. You're going to get copies of all those over on the Pulse chain. So essentially, you, you kind of be doubling up because you have a ladder on the ETH network and you'd have a ladder on the Pulse network. And the reason why that could be beneficial is because eventually, at some point in the future, EHEX and PHEX should reach price parity. Price parity means that they move in unison together. When Pulse Chain first goes live, there's going to be all sorts of fluctuations in the prices of HEX. The Ethereum HEX could actually dump. I, in fact, I predict that EHEX will see a slight dump. Could be big, could be small, who knows. But I do think that it will go down because you're going to have a lot of bridging over EHEX into PHEX. And so the PHEX is going to start way down here because the PHEX starts at zero, a zero dollar value. The market will decide what the value of PHEX will be. And then there's going to be trading back and forth, but eventually it will get to price parity. And when it reaches price parity, then they will move in unison together. And it also Hart's Law. Hart's Law says that something to the effect of like the, the price action or the price movement is directly correlated with the liquidity bond so when pulse x launches there's going to be a, an e hex and a p hex bridge so where you can trade your e hex into p hex and so because those are bonded together that will create a ratio which will move in unison with one another and then the market will decide which one's worth more at what time and then there will be some point where they reach parity price parity and they move together so to answer your question the benefit to starting the the laddering process now is the fact that you're going to get a copy of all of those ladders and all those those stakes that you do, you're going to get copies of all that on the pulse chain. And that could be very valuable because you'll have literally two copies on both chains. So that's the personal preference though. Okay. So I've got a better way to answer this question before pulse chain goes live. What I'm actually going to be doing is holding liquid hex, continuing the dollar cost average, but I won't be staking on the Ethereum chain before mainnet. And here's why the main benefit to staking on Ethereum before mainnet and starting to create these snowballing ladders is the fact that you'll get copies of those ladders on the pulse chain. The problem with that is that if there was a 15 year stake that matured today if you wanted to mint your rewards and unstake it would cost around one e so around three or four thousand dollars the fees could get worse we don't know when ethereum 2.0 is going to come out and we don't even know what that's going to do to the gas fees at all it's a big question we do know that it's going to be cheap on the pulse chain so what i'll be doing instead is dollar cost averaging into hex now and from there i'm going to be holding that hex liquid and the reason why i'll be holding it liquid is because i'm I'm still going to get copies of all that liquid hex on the pulse chain. But now because it's liquid and it's not staked and locked, I can then swap my liquid e hex over to p hex and then start creating my stakes on the pulse chain. It's going to save me in fees and down the road, it's going to save me big time in fees because it's on the pulse chain and not the Ethereum network. The trade off is I'm, I'm taking away the risk of paying very, very high gas fees and keeping my stake locked on Ethereum instead holding my liquid hex, still getting the advantage of getting copies of that liquid hex. But now I have the advantage of staking that e hex, swapping it over into p hex once pulse chain goes live and then continuing to do my stakes and my snowballs from there. Now, let me be very, very clear. If you already have ladders or stakes on the Ethereum network and they're locked, I'm not saying that you unlock them, emergency unstake that, and then transfer or swap your eHex that would now then be liquid into PHEX. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that from this point forward until mainnet, I will continue to DCA and buy more liquid hex with dry powder and then keeping that hex as liquid. And then once Pulse Chain goes live, swapping that over into p hex so just wanted to clarify that so there's no misunderstandings as to what i'm talking about there have been questions in my comments about well what should i do now should i stake now get copies of that on the pulse chain should i not do anything and just wait till pulse chain to start staking or what should i do so i'm answering that question is you can continue to do dollar cost average into hex and buy hex on this dip and then just hold it liquid and then get copies on both chains and then from there swap your e hex into px that's what i'm talking about again to clarify i'm not suggesting emergency unstake any current stakes that you have or any current ladders you have on the Ethereum chain. So hope you enjoyed this video. That's going to be my strategy moving forward. Stay savage.